Long ago, in Ireland, before the days of happy slapping hoodies and incapacity benefit, there lived a man called Jack, or Stingy Jack, as he was known. One evening, Jack invited the devil for a drink, and the devil, who was more sociable than he is these days, accepted. But I'm not going anywhere trendy, the devil added. By the end of the evening, they were both quite tanked up, and Jack, living up to his nickname, made out that he was skint, and somehow convinced the devil to change himself into a coin with which to pay for their drinks. The devil agreed, and promptly became a gold coin, and gold having much the same value as it does today, the coin was more than enough to pay for the 16 whiskey, 8 pints of porter, and 3 packets of cheese and onion. Jack dropped the coin into his pocket, next to a silver crucifix, prohibiting the devil from changing back. Gah, what are you up to? Give over, cried the devil. Oh, I'll let you out. So long as you promise not to get me back, demanded Jack. With that, the devil, whose intellectual capacity evidently wasn't all that it's cracked up to be, agreed. Jack left him to pay for the drinks, and promised not to bother him for twelve months, or a year, whichever was longer. About a year later, the devil returned to that part of Ireland where Stingy Jack resided and made it known that he was seeking retribution. Okay, okay, Jack started, but I'd love a little snack first, he continued. Look, up in that tree, mm, lovely apples. Actually, I quite like apples, said the devil. Well, I'll keep watch if you climb up and grab a few, Jack added. Hey now, wait a minute, why me? Why can't you climb up? asked Satan. Oh, uh, uh, I've, uh, I've got a bad back, and besides, I hurt me leg the other day, and, uh, oh, go on, I'll keep watch, said S to the J. The devil climbed the tree, and quick as a flash and in a trice, Jack carved a crucifix in the bark, trapping the devil whose intellect was becoming more questionable by the second, up there in the boughs of the apple tree. You've done it to me again, haven't you? You SOB. Why, you... Just you wait! Now then, exclaimed Jack, none of that. I'll let you down. I'll let you down as long as you promise not to bother me for a further ten years. A decade. Decade, ten years, whichever. Just bugger off and don't bother me. Promise! I promise, said the devil glumly. Scuppered, cried Jack. The devil was allowed down, and he slipped off back to hell. Some short years later, not as many as ten, but certainly more than two, possibly three or four, stingy Jack died. God had been building up the reputation of heaven, and membership was quite exclusive. It certainly wouldn't take a little scrote like Jack, and was promptly turned away for not being on the list, presumably. In hell, the devil refused to take him for all the cruel tricks he'd played on him, and it's true that the devil was having counselling and cognitive behavioural therapy after three plus years, and sent him off into purgatory with a hollowed out turnip and a burning coal inside it, lighting in his way. Jack's soul was doomed to roam through the darkness of the underworld forever.